Good morning guys and welcome back to my channel. No, this is not a coffee bar episode, although I need to start my day with some coffee. Here's the deal. I just got a new Pelican kayak. I think you saw that in the last video. That video was rushed. I mean, it was rushed. I was limited time. Limited time for edit. I just threw it together because I was excited to get it out. I had it for two weeks and hadn't had it on the water yet. So in today's video, I'm going to give you a walk around of the kayak. I'm going to make a modification to the bow for a camera setup that you can do yourself for probably less than $3. It's a good idea. Alright guys, we're going to get started here. I'm going to mount the camera on the front, but first I'll show you what we're using. This is it. A drill, 18 inch piece of PVC pipe, two caps, and a couple quarter 20 bolts. That is it. Now I'll show you where it's going to actually go. Alright, just to give you a little bit of context here. In the bow of the boat, there's a hole. See if I can help you out here. Right there. This hole in the front here. It does not go all the way through. It goes down about three eighths of an inch. Hence, that's where I'm gonna bolt this thing to, hopefully. All right guys, let me explain what I'm doing here. So, with the pieces, what I'm gonna do with this 18 inch piece of pipe, I've got two end caps. I'm gonna drill a quarter inch hole in the bottom, fit it on the end. This one here, I'm gonna drill a quarter inch bottom, fit it on the end. However, prior to being put on, I've got the quarter 20 bolts that I'm going to put through. This is base, This will be the base that's going to screw onto the kayak and be siliconed as well so it doesn't move. Once it's attached to the kayak, this now sits down the side. I'm not going to glue this in because I want to be able to take it out to put it in the back of my truck. When it comes time to go fishing, put it back in. This is the camera I'm using. I just got it. I'll do a review on it a little later on. This is a Dragon Touch camera. Shoots in 4K or 1080p and 60 frames per second, which is what I have it set in. Uh, the reason for that is because I do like some slow motion stuff. With this mounted on the front, the kayak being 10 feet long, I don't have a whole lot of room to get up and turn it on. So this particular camera here came with a remote control. I can turn it on, turn it off, or I can start to record and stop the record which will probably save me from going for a swim. Anyway, I'm going to drill some holes in here. Let's see if it works. Here we go. Try and center the hole as best you can and not drill through your hand. That's not bad. That's it for that. Now these holes might be a little small, and that's kind of that's by design, um, because when the bolts go in, you want them to have to thread themselves through the plastic. Ratchet might be a little overkill. All right, so you see the bolts in the middle coming out the top. Now that hole, small hole in the front of the kayak doesn't go all the way through. Like I said, it goes down about three eighths of an inch. So I'm gonna take this with some crazy glue on the bottom and a little bit of silicone, and I'm gonna screw this onto there. Once this is on, 
Then this goes on and the camera on top. Let's repeat this process on the other cap. All right, so here's what we got. Those are our two end caps, all right? Again, in the kayak, in the pole, this screws onto here, and this sits on the top of the pole facing me. Now, a couple ways this can, actually, this is upside down. Anybody notice that this is upside down? So there you have it. So the top pole, the top cap, fits in the bottom. That sits on the top of the pole facing me with my camera in it, which I can turn off obviously remotely. On, off, record, not record. Let's go see if we can fit this on the kayak. All right guys, I'm gonna try and screw this into this small hole here. So now what we got left to do, this goes on here, faces me. So this is what we end up with right here. Mount it straight up, pointing back at me. Now I don't have a swivel on top. This is the swivel that I'm gonna put on for the camera so that I can either tilt the camera up, tilt the camera down. But uh, I do think 18 inches is a little too long. Anyway, I'm probably gonna cut it down probably six, four or six inches and put it back on. We'll see how that looks. I think that looks a little bit better. So what I've done is I've cut the pole down four inches, so it's probably only about 12, 13 inches tall. Put the swivel mount on top so I could tip the camera up or down. I can even make it shorter if I wanted to and just tilt the camera up. But uh, we'll see how that works for now. Only thing left to do now is paint it. This is it. It's about uh, a total of about maybe 13 inches long. Now what I used was three quarter inch PVC white pipe. And the reason I used the white pipe is it was the cheapest. Uh, three quarter inch pipe, three quarter inch end caps, two quarter 20 bolts. Uh, they're about half an inch long and that's it now like I said I'm not gonna glue these caps in but I'll be able to take this little piece out and put it back in if need be uh, if it fits in my truck I'll just leave it in for the meantime but when I screw this into the front of the kayak I'm gonna put the crazy glue on the bottom here so that it helps bite into the plastic on the kayak and keeps this cap steady there you have it and around I ended up buying a 10 foot piece of this and I only needed this much but I didn't mind buying the 10 foot piece I think the total cost for that was seven dollars the reason I'm telling you you make this for less than three dollars because these here were 87 cents the bowls were free I already had them in the shed so I'm left with approximately eight feet of this pipe left I can cut a three foot piece off or a four foot piece off whatever I want and mount it on the back of the kayak. So now I would have a camera over my shoulder looking forward. That way I don't have to wear a chest mount camera. Just an idea. Now I didn't get these ideas on my own. I found these on the internet, so I'm not the inventor of this, nor will I ever claim to be. But uh, a good buddy of mine, Tim Percy, I also work with him. He's a professional kayak angler. He has cameras all over his kayak, and uh, hopefully, hopefully soon, we're gonna visit his shop and uh, I'm gonna show you his kayak setup. My $187 kayak, mm -mm, ain't even remotely close to what he rides in. Now, Tim is a professional angler. I also work with him, but uh, he travels all over the place. I'm gonna leave a link to his channel in the description below. It's Tim Percy Kayaking. Uh, he's traveled all over the US fishing. Uh, he's been to China fishing. He's uh, heading to Australia right soon to go fishing. Uh, these are all tournament based uh, fishing expeditions that he's going on so uh, he's well versed in kayaks well versed in fishing and he's a wealth of knowledge so we're going to visit his shop and uh, I'm going to show you his setup it's pretty impressive anyway I'm going to get this put on and see how it looks
there you have it and for those that are new to kayaking kayak fishing like I am you may be wondering what this here is that is a free milk crate from my local variety store that's what all your bags of milk come in here in Canada and I've got comments out of the States before your milk comes in bags uh, living the keys life you guys were asking milk in bags three small bags in a big bag and that's what your milk comes in but so I went to the local store and asked for one they said sure go ahead and take one so this is what I'm gonna carry all my tackle in I'm gonna got some bigger conduit in the shed that I may eventually put a couple of rod holders on the side of that that way I can put my rods in there and I don't have them laying on the side let's have a look at the finished camera mount all right guys so this is what we got now hopefully if you're thinking about doing this to one of your kayaks hopefully there's uh, some way to mount it in the front as opposed to drilling holes in the kayak luckily I have three holes in the front I'm not sure what they're for but like I said they don't go all the way through they only go down about three to half an inch I'm not sure what they're for but this is what I used it for so there you have it DIY camera mount for less than three dollars minus the cost of the camera mount and this is gonna be it for today's video so I hope you enjoyed it hope you all have an awesome day I'll see you all in the next one later I do think 18 inches is a little too long. It never fails. When I go to do something, one works great, the second one or third one or the last one of which I'm doing, always wants to give me a problem. <laughs>